It's early March and the sun is shining, which means Vince Keys needs to take a plunge. <laughs> this isn't about cooling off or even about exercise. To understand this, you have to go back more than 40 years to when Vince and his wife Brenda had their baby girl, Annie. I'm an OB nurse, so I worked right there in labor and delivery, and when she was born, it was just kind of like a silence in the room. Annie had a condition called epidermolysis bullosa. You know, nobody was had any idea what this was. You had a medical education, obviously, but was this even something you'd heard of? Never. It was never. that rare? Yes. Rare enough that only a few thousand Americans have the disease. Um, I guess growing up in West Virginia, there's only one other person I ever met with it, so it's kind of like I was the only person in the world that had it. And like I said before social media and things, I kind of was the only person I thought that had it. EB, as it's typically called, produces severe blistering at almost any touch of the skin that then leads to a lot of other more serious complications. But as Annie grew up, there were no treatments. We improvised. Um, we just trial and error. If something didn't, we tried something that didn't work, we'd try something else. And now, 40 years later, it's not much better. Is it frustrating, though, to know how little research is done for this? Yes, it is. That may be changing. Pearl Jam lead singer Eddie Vedder has someone close to him with EB, so he started an organization called the EB Research Partnership and a group of ladies in Massachusetts decided to start a fundraiser called The Plunge for Elodie, named for a girl there who has EB. It feels, it hurts. And that truly hit home for Annie. He was born that afternoon at a little after 12 o'clock. Where's your tract? When she learned that her one Where's and only heart? child could inherit the condition from her. I wasn't able to see him until about 10 o'clock that night. And I, was, I saw that picture before I actually saw him. Mom! Doctors soon confirm that Brooks has EB, too. It's a lot to swallow, but I was kind of glad I was out of town when I got that call because I was able to kind of process before I told my husband. And he just, <laughs> he just said, if that's the worst thing that happens, we're pretty lucky. He's a live wire. <laughs> Which brings us back to that pool. Grandpa Vince, Brenda, and Annie's whole family have started their own plunge to raise money for EB research. It was just like, you know, enough of this. This, this disease just really is horrible and something needs to be done. And now it is. Research and acknowledgement is what's going to bring a cure. Bob Buckley. So we're doing our small part. <laughs> Fox 8 News. Oh, no, that's a